Hi everybody, welcome to Scene Investigators. I have been so excited to play this game. So this game is from the same people that made the Payne's Creek Killings, which I absolutely loved, and I played the demo for Scene Investigators and loved it. I am so into being a detective, solving crimes, stuff like that. I have heard that this game is actually quite difficult, so we might be in for a little bit of a challenge today, but I'm just gonna start into it and see how I get on. So yeah, I am so, so excited. Let's just do it. Okay, and I have my notepad beside me ready to go, so let's just start into it. Um, yeah, new save. Disclaimer, this is a work of fiction, names, characters, places, and incidents either are products of author's imagination or are used fictitiously. Any resemblance to actual events or locales or persons living or dead is entirely coincidental. Okay, so these are all fictional cases. Scene Investigators is an experience created for detective, true crime, and escape room fans. It's not meant in any way to replicate a real crime scene and the steps involved in solving it. This game was designed purely for the sake of fun and entertainment for its intended target audience. Let's do this. Hello, agent. I am your personal assistant for this exam. Please enter your name. Oh, should I put, should I put my name? Suzanne. Is this the name you want recorded in our database? Yes. Creating your data file. Recording complete. Welcome to the crime scene reconstruction room. Prior to the exam, here are some important notes to go through. First, observe each scene carefully. Analyze everything on site and pay close attention to seemingly insignificant details. Second, not all interactable objects are important, and not all that are non-interactable are unimportant. You have to decide mm. which ones can help with the investigation. Third, okay. when there aren't enough evidence present in the crime scene, you will need to trust your intuition, fill in the missing gaps, and make smart, calculated assumptions. Fourth, when all else fails, don't give up. Take a break. Comb through the crime scene again and revisit the clues previously gathered with fresh eyes. One last thing. For the sake of the exam, certain elements in the crime scene have been removed or omitted on purpose. This is not a mistake, but a test to see if you, the agent, are able to solve the case despite the missing elements. Oh, okay. Now that we've gone through them, Let's do a preliminary trial, shall we? This has no bearings on your overall grade. We're getting it's to graded? See if you've come to grasp with the fundamentals of the exam to come. Are you ready? Understood. Yes. Loading preliminary trial. Okay, so this is just like a Loading test complete. test one. Good luck. Preliminary trial, the police have arrested a man they suspect to be about to rob a bank. They confiscated items found in the van the man was standing by. The police were able to get the man to give up the names of his accomplices. It is suspected that the man and his accomplices might also be involved in the purse snatching of Helen Turner. Oh, whoa, okay, this is a lot, this is a lot of information. However, all the police have are the items from the getaway van, the criminal records of the three men that were going to rob the bank, and the incident report from Helen Turner. Using what is available, can you answer these questions asked in this case file? Um, flashlight, camera, photo album, notepad. Documents. Okay, we can go back and read that if we need to. Gotcha. Right, oh. Okie dokie. So we have to just use this to solve the case, I think. My master plan. Clover Bank monthly swap. Lorenzo will send all of us exact date. 
Part one of swap, 3.15 to 3.35, 20 minute window. Every second counts, be in position 3.15 sharp. Get in, get out. Minimum security at this time, 3.15 to 3.35, sorry. Security returns from swap, second part of swap, 3.35 to 3.55. Too much activity. Plan B, activity returns to normal at 4.10ish. May have to resort to robbery at gunpoint. Plan C, wait another month, don't have time. Split, 55% man with the plan. 15% helper, 25% getaway driver, 5% for Lorenzo. Or to read. Undyne winning numbers. Okay. What's that got to do with anything though? Okay. That's confusing. Right. Okay. Beer. Right. Menthol sticks. Oh god, I don't understand any of this yet. Right, so police investigation file for Helen Turner. Okay, let's find out a bit about this. Okay, report of stolen items. Okay, so she said the person, the suspect had light skin and was about 5'5". Five five. Color, does that mean eye color? Dark eyes? Color dark, does that mean for eyes? Okay. Well, she doesn't have much info on the suspect anyway. Incident was at 3 10 pm. Items taken. Purse, key, four keys, phone wallet chevron white and turquoise is the wallet okay credit card for clover bank lottery ticket cash and an id okay has the lottery ticket got something to do with it right this is her phone isn't it Oh, messages. Are you sure we can trust this guy? He seems all over the place. I know you hate unpredictability, but we've already seen what he can do. I'm sure it'll be fine. Lorenzo vouched for him personally. He's just a temp anyway. But I hate Lorenzo as well, but someone that has his respect must be at least someone capable. Hang on. But if this is, he this is Helen's phone, yeah? Because it's got the mink green case is she talking to the to the robbers hey do you have time I overheard something really interesting 600 bucks cash it'll be real quick and it's on the way boss told us don't use this number if it's not related to the job you're too loyal to that guy isn't he younger than you we go a long way back besides there's rumors that he was already stealing big time at just eight years old in that sense he's my senior whatever you in or not we can split it 50 50 well send me the details on my other phone i'll decide then and then on this day it's just 10th of the 5th 09 that was hang on that was the date of the robbery wasn't it phone mint green case that like that's her phone 10th of the 5th, 09. Hmm. Carter Frank. Carter is known for having done forgeries, but it was never proven and he was never convicted. Petty theft, con man, shoplifting. Okay. 
identity theft and armed robbery, Chad Harris. Released in February 09 for good behavior. Anthony Young, petty theft, breaking and entering, con man. Okay, Helen Turner. I was at home for pretty much the whole morning. I went to Wake Up Call Cafe to meet up with my friend around 2 p.m. Nothing of note happened. I just told my friend that the news had announced the winning numbers of a lottery I played and I had won some money. I was going to cash it in today. We made plans to meet up again to celebrate. I left the cafe about 45 minutes later. I headed towards cart convenience and that was around the time that I got knocked over by a man coming up behind me. Next thing I knew, I was watching him turn around the left corner with my purse in his hands. You never really think such things would happen to you until they do. All I could remember is that he was a bit taller than me and that he had dark hair and light skin. As soon as I was able to gather my wits, I asked a passerby to call the police. Light skin and dark hair describes all of them. So it's his hair that's dark, not his eyes. She said here he was a bit taller than her though, but she put him down as being 5'5", five five, the same height as her. So that doesn't make sense. Yeah, she's 5'5", five five, and she said, oh, sorry, greater than 5'5", five five. okay. So, van location, initial arrest, Clover Bank, Supreme Burgers, cart convenience, ATM, the location of the incident, wake up call cafe, La Poche restaurant. I left the cafe 45 minutes later. So she left the cafe 45 minutes later, so 2.45 to cart convenience. And it was around that time I got knocked over by a man coming up from behind me. Okay, but then why all the money if she hadn't cashed it in yet? Lorenzo will send all of us the exact date. So Lorenzo sent Helen. That's Helen's phone, right? That's Helen's phone. So. Lorenzo sent Helen the date of the the robbery. Are the lottery numbers important? Okay, so six hundred dollars is the the number four, right? Six hundred dollars. Is this six hundred dollars? Two, three, six, six hundred, six hundred and thirty-six dollars is what that is. So right, that she cashed in, she cashed in her lottery ticket. Okay, so these were sent on the 2nd of October. So this was like three days before the robbery. Okay, so Lorenzo is the boss, I think. Then this guy says, yeah, heard something real interesting, 600, bleh, 600 bucks cash. It'll be really quick and it's on the way. Boss told us don't use this number if it's not related to the job. Okay, maybe this isn't Helen's phone. But it's mint green. Right, so I think I have to use those clues to figure out who each person is. So, oh Jesus. Maybe I need to stop focusing on the fact that like Helen is guilty <laughs> and try and figure this out, okay? I don't know, I just like, that's her phone. She's really suspicious. Anyway, so does he fit the description of the suspect? So he's 5'6", which is bigger than 5'5". Five five. His hair color is brown, which is dark. Yeah, I mean, they all, don't they all fit that description? Five, six, five, seven, yeah. That description is useless. Although this guy's got black hair, it's darker than brown, but like I would still consider brown dark. I've got brown hair and it's extremely dark, so. 38. 
So with this, would this guy maybe be the guy who owns the phone if he's the oldest? Because your man was saying, oh, the boss is younger than you. So does Anthony Young own the phone? Carter is known for having done forgeries. He stole from civilians, conned money from civilians. I'd say that's who he's talking to. Frank Carter. So Lorenzo, the boss then, is, is the guy in prison. And then that's from Lorenzo. On the 1st of October, Lorenzo sends everyone the date. On the 2nd of October, he's talking to... God, I'm so confused. This is the day of the robbery. Someone texts at 2.20. 2.40, we can split it 50-50. But that's like just when she was leaving the cafe. That's very tight timing. Mm, and when she reported her cash missing, she said she only had that. But I suppose if they stole her lottery ticket, then they could have cashed it. But how did they know she had a lottery ticket worth $600? That doesn't make any sense. There is no way in hell that Blockia phone is worth $500, which is stock. Van location, initial arrest, and the bank. Cart convenience. Wake up call cafe. So she would have walked along here towards there and then the incident happened here. There's the ATM here where they could have withdrawn the money and then they drove here. So we have to figure out who's man with the plan, who was the helper and who was the getaway driver. Who was the getaway driver and who was involved in stealing Helen Turner's purse? Oh, hang on. I overheard something real interesting. Oh, so was this, this guy was in the cafe when Helen was telling her friend that she won the lotto and she was going to cash the ticket. Oh, I see. Okay, so that explains that. Right, so this guy is the getaway driver. The phone owner the time of the theft was 3 10 p.m but they had to be at the bank at 3 15 sharp that seems like cutting it really tight this guy's got kind of like small crimes petty theft and stuff this guy's got identity theft armed robbery targeting banks and then this is petty theft breaking and entering conned money so like out of the three this guy is kind of the more serious criminal i think so i would say he's the man with the plan then so chad is the man with the plan then there's a helper and a getaway driver i think this guy is the phone owner and i think that means that he was the getaway driver frank is probably the helper. So who was the getaway driver? Anthony Young. Or would the man with the plan be the getaway driver? And then the other two more petty crimes were involved with stealing the purse. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll try that. I don't know, I'm really doubting myself because this is really hard. I don't know if I did this right. If 
Frank Carter and Anthony Young. Uh, Unfortunately, we're not solved. No. Damn it. Can I, yeah, can I retry? Hmm. What if Frank Carter is the one who owns the phone? Because he's like the second oldest. So Lorenzo could also be younger than him. I definitely think... He's the man with the plan because he has experience with armed robberies. Hmm. And the fact that he has black hair, maybe he's the one who actually stole from the woman. Maybe he's the erratic one that the other guys were talking about. Ah, and this, see you add add more people okay now that i've realized what this means we need two answers here so okay i'm still gonna go with frank carter was the getaway driver and i felt like the getaway driver was also involved in stealing the purse right so chad harris is the armed robbery guy so i feel like the two smaller criminals were these so yeah frank was the getaway driver and frank and anthony stole the purse let's try that yes <laughs> finally thank you Thank you. Which case file would you like to tackle? Oh, we can choose which one we want. So apartment 401, the break-in, apartment 402, the dinner party. Oh, we did that in the, the demo. So I won't do that one again. The celebration. Let's do the break in. I like that. Voting complete. Good luck. Okay, New York, two thousand and four. Woo! Whoa! Oh my God! It's jumping everywhere. Let's hope this one goes better than the preliminary. I presume. Jesus! Why is it jumping everywhere? I presume I just go in there. I can't. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing down here. I just wanted to check, you know. Um oh baby. Okay. Some child's things. Okay. I don't I don't see a break in. The 15th of July, 2004. Other than drinking a bit more than usual, nothing noteworthy for today. She pooped once and went to sleep after I sang her a lullaby. Oh, so this is like a baby diary, I guess. She is super cute when she sleeps while clinging onto her blankie. 2.50 fed her food portion. 3.30, 180, mil 180 milliliters of milk. 6.30, diaper change. 7, went to sleep. The next day, Sarah was not as fussy today. She, oh my God, I can't speak today. What is wrong with me? She drank the same amount as usual. However, she hasn't pooped yet. We didn't need to know that. 2.50, woke up. 3.70 milliliters of milk. 3.30, ate a bit of food. 6.15, 150 milliliters of milk. 7.20, went to sleep. Right, okay. And what's this? Feed the milk at 3 p.m. Give second bottle at 7.30 p.m. Remind you that milk is in the fridge. Carry the baby monitor at all times. I will be home around 8 p.m. Okay.
Diamond Wedding Ring, 2,500. Brenda Sherman. Okay. Oh, actually, I didn't check. Did we get a file synopsis or anything? No, we didn't this time. Okay, so we need to find out who broke into the apartment. Who was present during the break-in? Who was killed and who was the killer? Someone was killed? Yikes. Okay. The <gasps> Oh, footprints. <gasps> That's a lot of blood. Oh, someone got hit in the head. Hit in the head and something in their leg. Can we find the... Can we find the point of entry? Okay, we can't go in there. Window, clearly. <gasps> Ooh, okay, so they used this to open the window, maybe? I guess so. Oh, 860 Highcrest Street, Queens, 806, 680, 608. Oh, so someone was trying to find an address that they weren't sure of. Metro Pass. Okay. No signature. So was this dropped by the killer? Okay, so the motive wasn't robbery. They left like everything in here. Okay, so this is the child's birth certificate, I assume. Sarah Peterson, okay, born 2003, so she was only like a year, a year old, yeah. So the name of the father is Clyde Kent Peterson and the mother is Brenda Sherman. Okay. This... Yeah, this is literally... There's two children. Okay, there's also a child, Greta. And she was born in 1996. Okay, so she's a lot older than Sarah. So Sarah's like one, one year-ish. And Greta would be... Eight? Father Clyde. Yeah. Brenda Sherman. Okay. Trust ammunition. Okay, so they've got a gun, I guess. Operator's manual for a Tarink or nine, nine millimeter. So that's the type of gun they had. I know nothing about guns. So I'm just going to write that down. <laughs> and hopefully it is relevant at some point. Right, so there's nothing else there. I don't think. So we've got footprints. They're big footprints, aren't they? They look like a man's. But I don't know, like women can have big feet too as well. I've got really big feet, so. <laughs> well, they're not so much big, they're like really wide. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, this is the par parents' room. The parents' room with the baby in here, maybe? Oh, Scoutineers Camp Sunshine. Held at the Wood Creek Campsite, a summer camp for elementary and middle school kids. Come have fun with kids from all over the state, July 14th to July 21st. Okay, so was the kid Greta at this camp, maybe? I forgot what date they said the crime took place on. Or like what day it was today. Oh, cute cushion. Oh, I wonder if I wonder if someone's Irish. They've got a four leaf four leaf clover. I think I've looked around there enough. Is no. Oh, okay. Maybe the bigger kid is in this room, and we're oh, we're just not able to go into it. So this is the office. Okay, so killer entered through the bedroom, made his or her way in here and shot, I think. Shot. Bullet. Do bullets say on them like nine millimeter or anything? Yikes, okay. So was shot twice, I guess. Once in the head and once in the side-ish. Oh. Is this a, a shell casing? Six, no, nine millimeter lugger. Okay, so is that different from the the tarink? So the nine millimeter lugger. Okay. Temporary restraining order. Name of protected person, Brenda Peterson. Restrained person, Clyde Kent. Okay, so the mother filed a restraining order against the father. He's six five. Oh, he's tall. Ex-husband. I see. Additional protected persons. Greta Peterson. Daughter. Why not the other daughter? She was born in... 2003. Was the other daughter Sarah not his? But wasn't it his name on the, the birth certificate? Okay, uh, I feel like Brenda was killed. <laughs> Contacts. Gabriel Martinez Plummer. James Gunther and Emma Franklin. Lillian Choi. Harold Jenkins, Ward Tyler. 5 a.m. wake up, 100 milliliters of milk, 7 a.m. poop, 9.05 a.m. pee, nap, throw up a little pee, nap, milk, sleep. Woke up, went back to sleep. Reminder, buy more formula, buy more diapers, make appointment with doctor for Sarah's vaccinations, buy Greta more paint, Sign Greta's forms, buy new Tupperware. Okay. Another one. Why would it be up here?
Oh, someone shot the intruder. That's the intruder, right? Email. Hey, you did all you could. There was nothing more you could have done. Personally, I'm glad it's all over. I don't care if he stays in jail or not. He can rot in there for all I care. I feel like you need time to heal and move on. If you need to talk or need help with the kids, you know how to reach me. Hi, Mrs. Peterson. Unfortunately, I won't be able to help you this month as I'll be out of town for most of July. However, I do have a friend who I think would be perfect for the job. She has a good track record and I can personally vouch for her. Her number is 212-8828. Three Dacia D. Okay, we need to find out who that is. Concerning charges to your NYMB account. We received your request to change your address and name. We have processed the change to your address. 608 Highcrest Street. The updated address will show on your next bank statement. However, in order to properly have your name changed, we will have to ask you stop by a local branch with a legal government issued ID. Apologies for any inconveniences and thank you for choosing New York Mutual Bank. Oh, okay. New York Mutual Bank. Um, so she changed her address to this apartment. Oh, okay. So she split up from the husband, filed a restraining order and then she was she moved into this apartment maybe by herself schedule change alto home care hi brenda unfortunately your schedule changed slightly with the care center being understaffed at the moment we'll have to ask you to come on wednesday and thursday the hours will still remain your standard hours 1 p.m to 7 p.m Okay, 212-888-2853 was Lillian Choi, but we don't know who that is. Call log. Okay, we need to check these numbers as well. Okay, so the 10 a.m. call was from Lillian. Okay, so the yesterday call was Harold Jenkins. Then the 10 a.m. call was Lillian. And I don't know who the other three callers were. Let me see. Stanley... Holt is her lawyer. Is that any of the numbers? No. Okay, that's all the jewellery is here. Was someone trying to make it look like a robbery? Jeez, how many calculators do they have? All right, um, let me have another little look out here. So that's obviously uh, Sarah's seat. A snack. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to match up. I, I assume Brenda's schedules I'm finding with also what I'm finding around the apartment. So let me look at this again. So Brenda Sherman bought a diamond ring. So she had maybe a new partner. Oh, calendar, okay. So Sarah's birthday. Okay, so are we the 16th 
I presume. So why is all that marked out in yellow? And then there's Sarah's birthday. Oh. Solstice. Size nine and a half wide. Mm, I don't think the pattern of those matches though for these, does it? No, it doesn't match. Okay. Oh god, I move so fast when I'm running. I've played way too many horror games. I constantly am expecting something to jump out at me. Camp Sunshine. Camper information. Greta Sherman. Yeah. Okay, so Greta was at Camp Sunshine. Greta was away at camp when this happened, I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that's what the yellow... Right? Yes. Okay. Greta is is gone to camp during the yellow. So she was not here. Right? I don't think there is anything else of importance. So let me look at these again. Oh, Jesus. Every time... Every time I click on something, the game stops for some reason. It's very weird. Right, so... Feed the milk at 3 p.m. Give second bottle at 7.30 p.m. Carry the baby monitor at all times. I will be home around 8 p.m. So is this a child minder? Is maybe Lillian Choi or something the child minder? This was a note. I will be home around 8 p.m. So presumably the murder just happened. This is the child minder's diary then maybe. She's keeping notes for the mother. 7.30 went to sleep. So between 7.20 and eight, the murder took place then if Brenda was returning home at eight. Okay, so maybe the child minder got murdered. Someone mistook her for Brenda or something. Because yeah, she had the baby monitor here. She was eating. A Snickers, a Snickers bar. Oh, miss this. So June 17th. So this was like a month previously. I did really well in all my tests. I studied really hard. I still have two more tests to go, but I wanted to show mommy and daddy Maybe they will become happy if they see how smart I am. But mommy was angry and said daddy wasn't coming home anymore. Did daddy get a time out? Okay, so I presume this is Greta's journal. Oh wow, so they were only separated for like a month when this happened. June 20th, I miss daddy sometimes. I smell his favorite bottle just to remind myself what he used to smell like. A bottle of alcohol? Did he drink a lot? Mommy got so upset when she saw the bottle she made me throw them away. I secretly kept one. Oh, we should look around for a bottle and see if we can find it. June 25th. Mommy is so busy, I don't really like having babysitters. If only Daddy and Mommy could make up. But it is too late. Mommy and Daddy are liars. They told me I always need to make up with my friends when we fight. They told me to forgive Sarah whenever she takes and breaks my stuff, but they don't make up even though they aren't together anymore. I still hear them fighting over the phone sometimes. Mommy said she's going to keep Daddy away from us. Daddy says that he's going to rescue us from Mommy. Why can't they just stay together? Oh, that's really sad. Um, so she kept the bottle 
hundred percent. It's a bottle of it's a bottle of alcohol, isn't it? What's that? Don't know. I can't read it. Um, hang on. Am I able to crouch? Let me just check. I can crouch control. Okay. There we go. So can I have a look at this now? Name Sarah. 5.23 p.m. Date 2003. Oh, these are her birth, her birth details. So yeah, this is Sarah's. Oh, Greta Sherman got an A in maths on the 20th of June. Okay, that's good. On June 18th, she got an A plus. Okay. I wonder what that's got to do with anything. The bottle, AM Ale, light beer. Knew it was alcohol. It's always alcohol, isn't it? Right, that's very sad. So they obviously split up because of his drinking and the mother didn't want him around the children. Uh, I have a flashlight. Was it? Oh, stop. The flashlight. L. Okay. Right, so it's it's a fire escape that they climbed up. Let's have a look at this again. Willow Groceries. Oh, did I see this last time? I don't know. In Brooklyn, Cashier Ryan G. The 16th of the 7th at 11.18 a.m. Six pack of ale and smokes. This was the dad. This is the dad's wallet. Okay. And this is him trying to figure out what their new address is. Okay. This is the dad's wallet. So the dad broke in. He walked here. Let's see the footsteps. Hang on, give me that light. He walked. He stopped here. Oh, the gun! Oh my god, I didn't even see that. That's crazy. Thunder M2. That's a different type of gun. A 9mm Viper Fire. That's a different... A different type of gun. So the dad walked in. The dad was shot. I think. By whoever was sitting here. Yeah, whoever shot him had to have been here. Because the bullet went into the wall there. So I say the dad walked in, surprised whoever was here. Maybe someone was rifling through, stealing. And he caught them and they shot. They shot him. Actually, yeah, someone was definitely rifling through stuff because there's papers everywhere. Oh, here, solstice. Oh, this is the box for the shoes. Women's shoes, size nine and a half. Pale yellow, red, black tennis shoes. Okay, were they pale, yellow, red, black? Oh, Jesus. Whoa. No. They're a different 
color. What do the shoes mean though? What do the shoes mean? Oh my god, that's so cute! Oh, I want one! That's adorable. Shoes, the shoes, the shoes. What do they mean? Ooh, we're so low down. Oh, we can really, we can really scooch if we want to. Add uh, the, uh, what? Oh, they knocked over. What was that meant to be? A plant pot or something? Ah, no. Vendar. Lar? Oh, maybe they were just labels for what the plants were supposed to be. Hmm. I didn't even notice that at first. I just thought their shoes were muddy from outside. <laughs> oh, hang on, I missed something. Oh! <gasps> that must be the dad. Right, well that wasn't helpful. Yes, they were herbs and stuff that they were they were growing. So that got knocked over. Right. Okay, so let's check back in. Who broke into the apartment? So Clyde. Who was present during the break-in? I think Lillian who was killed and who is the killer I'm not sure about that yet yeah so someone someone shot from here and then someone shot close here Yeah, and this person is very, very tall. And the husband is really tall. Six foot, six foot something. So I'd say the person was standing here. Shot him in the side. He went down. And then they came over and shot him in the head to kill him. Because yeah, someone, someone was having a rifle through here. I don't know if it was... Lillian, who I think is the babysitter, or someone else. Okay, I'm going to have a guess now. I'm going to say who was killed, Clyde. And who is the killer, Lillian. And just see if I'm even on the right track with this. Two out of four questions answered correctly. Um, okay, I'm just going to do this and see if I still get to right and then I know that the two Clydes are correct. Three out of four is correct. Oh, okay, so my two Clydes are correct. My two Clydes are correct. I'm gonna get this. I'm going to get this. If it kills me. That was a bad choice of phrase. Let's go. <laughs> so only one of these is wrong. You can add, you can add more than one. Ho, 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 okay. So yes, Clyde broke into the apartment. Clyde was killed. Who was present during the break-in? 
Brenda would have to be present to be the killer though, wouldn't she? That's not right. That can't be right. Sure, look, we'll just see. Three out of four. Stop. Okay, so Brenda... Bleh, Brenda's the killer? Okay, if Brenda was the killer then... Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe there wasn't a babysitter here. So let's um let's just try that and see. <sighs> nope. Oh hang on, let me just try and add Clyde because he was technically present during the break-in. Right, so who broke into the apartment? Clyde. Who was present? Sarah, Clyde and Brenda. Who was killed? Clyde. Who's the killer? Brenda. Let's see if this is right. Yes! Oh my god! That was so simple. I was completely overthinking that crime so badly. I was like, no, there has to be more to it. It has to have been the babysitter or, you know, something along those lines. But yeah, no, it was just plain and simple. The wife shot the husband. Whew, okay, so this game is actually really really difficult so a few of the complaints that i saw people had about it and things that they are currently working on fixing are having little synopsis synopses synopsises um of general a general overview of the cases when you start and then also I think they're working on adding in hints and also letting you know which answers are correct and then also having the option to like reveal the correct answers to you at the end as well. So I think those improvements would be really, really good. Um, it's really difficult, really challenging, but I'm actually really, really enjoying it. Let me know what you think of this game. I'm really excited to play through the other cases. So we've got one here and two locked. Then we've got two more in this. And then I do believe that this is just one one big case oh and we can unlock this as well i assume so we have a lot more cases to investigate so i'm interested to know what you guys think about this game i think it could definitely do with some improvements i don't think an overview of the case is really necessary at the start because you do kind of piece it together as you look through everything at the crime scene I did think actually the preliminary trial was way more difficult than the, with the actual case that we did. But I do just think that having a system at the end where it lets you know this answer is correct, this answer is incorrect, because then it could help you maybe go back, relook at some things and figure it out a bit more. But do let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited to get into more cases with this and I will see you really, really soon in the next video.